Today, I am giving you free presets for your wedding photography. Welcome to the studio, this fine summer Sunday morning. I feel like every single time I shoot B-roll, I shoot the B-roll of the little, the, the brief, the post intro every single day. And I feel like for the past number of days, it's just been bright and beautiful and sunny. So you might have a skewed opinion of what, what my city looks like. Cause it, it does, it does rain here in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Today I'm giving you three presets for your wedding photography. Three of the presets that I use on my wedding images and that I have been using and modifying in small ways over time. Uh, if you're a member, if you're a founding member specifically, there are still a few spots available and I'm gonna do a hard close. So uh, on Tuesday night at 11.59 p.m. Eastern, um, Toronto, New York, Miami time to make a little line. That founder rate is going to disappear forever, even if the all the slots don't fill up. Um, so that's going to be closed. So if you're watching this after, I apologize. I promise there's still an overwhelming amount of value on TaylorJacksonCourses.com. Um, but if you are signing up for that founder rate, the annual, uh, basically if you sign up for the annual, you get everything for $6.58 per month. So or equivalent of that if you pay it one time for the year. Uh, and basically what that does is it means that it is by far the cheapest wedding photography education that you could ever possibly imagine. That includes everything that's on the site, which is already $2,000 plus worth of stuff. And it also includes everything that I'm going to be creating over the next uh, number of months, as long as you're a member. So uh, sign up for that. If you're interested, Tuesday night, hard close on that. Um, what you're going to get actually is all of my presets. So if you sign up for that today, I'm giving you three of them. So I'm going to be giving you People 2018. I'll do a little little demo here on, on my computer. So that's kind of what People looks like there. That's what I used for, for a number of years and it's actually what I've based a lot of my presets on. Um, overall, I make my presets to pretty much be workable in any wedding photography situation. So they're all geared to one people, which is why it's called people. Um, and then also geared towards maybe not the best lighting. So this is obviously like an ideal ish lighting scenario. There could be some more light coming from on their face, but like, I don't know, I, I'm not going to complain. Uh, but overall, it's kind of balanced for those weird white balances as well as weird lighting situations. And all of like every single one of these presets uh, is Essentially how I've designed it is that it's supposed to be good for the entire wedding day. So it's a one click solution with the exception of anything that I screw up in my camera like exposure or white balance from time to time. Um, one of the things that I find that helps me out a lot is shooting manual controls in my actual camera. That speeds up post-production time that if I am just a little bit under on exposure in this family set of images, I can just batch adjust all of those up to where I want to be. Uh, and that speeds my post-production up significantly, uh, as well as setting a manual white balance that I think all cameras, maybe I would say Leica, I also like Canon on auto white balance. I would say all other camera brands tend to give me a white balance that's a lot cooler than I want, or even in some cases just strange if I'm shooting in auto white balance. So I always shoot on either shade mode, cloud mode, or um, shade enhanced. I'll figure out, I feel like the, the house is shade and I feel like cloud is cloudy, um, but they kind of mean the same thing. I usually shoot on cloudy as kind of a base when I'm out in the world. Uh, the thought process behind that is that if I'm photographing somebody, say for instance right now, even if there is sun behind me, um, I'm not saying there's, there's sun, there's some sun coming through. Say I'm outside, bright sun over top of me, I'm not gonna be ever photographing somebody with their, their like the sun just bouncing off their face. I'm gonna have the sun probably over their shoulder somewhere here. And even if it's like high noon, I'm still going to be trying to keep their face in the shade because that's how you get actual like nice flattering light. And because of that, I'm white balancing for their face because their face is in the shade and I want their skin tone to be accurate. So I'm usually starting on cloud mode. And if I find that that's not warm enough for me, um, I'm a bit of a, a sunset junkie, I suppose. So I don't mind when things are a little bit warmer than they should be. I think uh, life looks better in a sunset. So put that quote on a shirt. Let's get to the presets. So if you sign up for Taylor Jackson courses, you get every single one of these presets. Um, these are all included instantly. They're all up there right now. You can sign up and just download them. Um, the ones I'm going to give to you today, People 2018. Here's a brief demonstration of that preset. Something like that looks pretty nice. I'll give you a few, few other places. People 2018. So as you can see, 
It works in a variety of situations. Most of these situations are backlit. I am on my computer. I don't have my hard drives with me today. Um, but I promise you that it works really in every single situation. Um, I'm also going to be giving you Summer 2018 Cool. What I use Summer 2018 Cool for, it's not to make your, your photos cooler. It is kind of my answer to when I find myself in a very warm environment. So for instance, there is a venue here called Hacienda Saria, beautiful Spanish inspired venue. Definitely everything is super warm in there. And if I'm photographing in there, I really do almost need to cool the tones down a little bit. So I find that I will usually do a split gallery where the I'll do um, either something like I'll probably be using my um, 2020 main now. But in the past, I'd be using the 2018 people preset for basically until it gets into fully ambient um, by incandescent, where basically that means that if there's a big skylight, if there's windows, at some point, there'll be that weird blue hour shift that you're gonna wanna make a lot of your images probably black and white, because it's just weird, like unless you're setting up lights and whatnot. Um, but there's always that weird like 10 minute transition period that goes from, you're able to say, for instance, in here, right now I could easily be photographing on shade white balance and I feel like oh, I'm on auto. Fuji does a good job too. I like their, their skin tones and the color palettes that come out of the camera. Um, at some point, when the light comes down from the windows, the lights in here will kind of start to be the main light. And when that happens is usually when I switch to that preset. Um, and then I also make sure that I match my strobe with the CTO gel, CTO fancy word for color temperature orange. Basically it means your, means your flash just projects the same color of light that's the incandescent lights that's in the actual venue. Once I'm kind of in that space, usually what I'm doing is I'm going to something with a little bit of a cooler color palette overall. Um, so that's when I used Summer 2018 Cool. Um, so those two work very, very well together overall. And I'm also going to be giving you a preset called Black and White Grain, which uh, I'll do this in a few, in a few different environments right now. I increased the exposure a little bit there, but something like that. And if you don't like the grain, you can actually just go down, way down here. And if you don't like the grain, you can come down here to your uh, your effects panel and you can just get rid of it completely. Uh, what I like about this is just the, the contrast and tones. This preset was based a little more on something like a Kodak T-Max, which is why I introduced a little bit of the grain. I tried not to go too crazy with it, but if you don't like it, get rid of it. If you do like it, you can leave it wherever it was at, somewhere right about here. So those presets are free to you. There's a link in the description below. You can go grab them. Uh, if you're interested in other ones and you sign up for the Taylor Jackson Courses site, you get them instantly, or you can just buy them the entire pack straight out for $49. Um, that's totally cool too. I'll give you, uh, I guess, so the progression of my people presets. So this is kind of where it began. Something like that was my, the general look and feel to my images for quite some time. That eventually kind of became this 2019 color. So what you're seeing now is the 2019 color preset. And I essentially just wanted to add a little bit more warmth overall to my images. And I think overall I'm, I'm quite happy with that preset. Uh, and then from there, it actually moved into my 2020 main, uh, which is a little bit different than the 2019, but not a whole lot different because I really do like the, the formula that I came up with. And I also think as a business person, it's smart to keep your images consistent over time that if you're bouncing between a lot of different really dramatic presets, clients are going to, not necessarily they won't be like, ah, this is, this is weird and disjointed. They'll look through a gallery of images or they'll look through Instagram and they'll just, they won't really connect with anything and they won't really leave that page with a sense of your style. So that's why it's important to stick to, to one or kind of a couple of presets. Um, in the 2020 pack, which was just released uh, a couple of days ago that I never really announced, um, the black and white preset now is more based off of something like a Kodak Tri-X, which is the film type that I shoot quite a lot. I like to base my presets on film stocks because there is a classic element to them. Our eyes have grown up used to, to these film stocks. So I feel like if you stay true to some of those elements, as well as artistically, I just love the aesthetic of film. Um, but I know that in 2020, I, I, like, I like grain, but my clients maybe aren't gonna be such a fan of that. They're gonna see it as negative image quality. And I have to kind of meet them somewhere in the middle that I'm happy with what I'm creating, but also satisfying their needs. Cause at the end of the day, I'm creating work for them. And I'm also creating work that needs to be timeless. It needs to be part of their life. And it's gonna be passed down from generation to generation. Um, all of the presets, I would say, really anything in the entire selection of packs, they all play really well together, which means that if you upload an image that say uses the 2020 main preset, you upload an image like this, and then you also upload an image maybe in this situation right here with film one, which is, I would say a little more based on kind of a portrait 
almost 800. It's a little less yellow overall than a Portrait 800. Um, maybe like a 400 somewhere in the middle of that, um, which is kind of where I tried to put it. But then again, adding a little bit more contrast to it because people are used to looking at contrasty images now on their cell phones. So that's kind of where I'm coming from for that film preset. But if you were to upload something like this, and the next image was something like this. I feel like those images, they go very well together. And if somebody's looking down your Instagram feed, it's not gonna feel like a disconnect from your style that they all really do go well together. Um, as I mentioned before, the benefit of this summer cool preset is if you find yourself in a situation that's just overly warm and there's maybe a lot of mixed elements of lighting and you want to remove the saturation almost from some of those lights and not completely but just in a way that balances the scene a lot more um, that's what i'm using that cool preset a lot more v2 is just essentially if my main preset looks a little bit funky on a shoot say for instance say my main preset i just didn't love it in this specific situation to come down here it's um i would say v2 is pretty close actually to the People 2018 that you're getting for free. Um, this one's I would say a little bit brighter and warmer overall, but V2 is really just kind of a mod on the main. So if the lighting situation that you find yourself in is just a little bit weird or there's some fluorescent lights mixing with incandescent lights that's mixing with daylight, uh, this will clean that up a little bit for you so you don't have to spend way too long figuring out exactly what your white balances are. Um, coming down here into Styled, Styled is probably the harshest of all of the presets. That's why it's called Styled. It is quite yellow and usually I have to dial the white balance back a little bit. Uh, very contrasty, very almost gritty in a sense. Um, I use this for if I have, if I'm doing say a styled shoot, which is actually what, what the title came from, uh, the styled shoot that is actually on YouTube if you're interested. What I realized that if you're spending that much time, you're lighting everything with external lights and you're, you have a professional makeup artist and hairstylist and all of those elements are going together, that you can process a little bit harder on an image. Uh, I would not be doing this for a full wedding day. This is way too aggressive, I think, of an edit for a full wedding day, and it's, it's just not quite as timeless as it should be. But for a styled shoot, you can really make a lot of elements pop in that image. Uh, subtle is maybe the, the, the most non-preset. So say, for instance, you're shooting an image and the straight out of camera file is exactly what you want. So this is, um, we'll, we'll go down here. So straight out of camera file is this right here. And you just want that little bit extra before, after, not a huge adjustment, but a subtle adjustment, which is why it's called subtle. Uh, and then coming down here, my travel preset, I'm very, very happy with it still. I use it on most of my travel images throughout uh, really kind of anywhere in the world. I haven't updated it in a while because simply I just, I'm quite happy with it and there's no sense to revisit it to, to change anything if I, if I notice it's handling, for the most part, all situations across the board really well. Uh, coming down here into my destination pack, these are all presets specifically if you're shooting a destination wedding or you're shooting something that you wanna make it feel a little bit more like a destination wedding. What they all kind of do, I don't know if I have any examples here. I think everything's rocks and whatnot. Um, but basically what it does is it will really accentuate the greens in, in the photo. I, I'm not a huge fan of just making all the greens disappear. Uh, I like to have them and these kind of make them the exact tones and the, I guess the saturations and also the exact color that I like things the best. So that is what the destination presets are. Thanks for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you are not yet a member of taylorjacksoncourses.com, you can sign up for a founder member rate until Tuesday. 11.59 p.m. Eastern time here. Toronto, New York, Miami time. Sorry if I missed your cities in between. I know there's a lot of cities that are also in Eastern time, but I can't name them all. Eastern time, I think, also goes down to Argentina. Time. It's a tricky, tricky thing. We're in Buenos Aires, and it was the exact same time at home as it was down there, and that hurt my brain a lot because it was a different season. It was summer when we were in winter, but it was the same time on the clock. I'll explain that. Next week on Super Deep, talk about time zones with Taylor Jackson. I'm kidding, that won't be a show, but you can sign up for that founder rate if you want. $6.58 per month if you're interested uh, to sign up for the annual and that is really the best the deal we'll ever possibly get and we'll never be back after this. So if you sign up for it, it's yours for the rest of time if you so decide to keep that going. And if you're watching this after Tuesday at 11, 59 p.m., the, the deal I, I suspect is still really good. I'm not sure when in the future you're watching this, but um, I'm sure it's still a very good value for your dollar spent. So uh, hopefully see you over there. And yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me here in the studio. Hope you had a good time. 
See you again on another time. Jobin. <laughs>